What's going on guys, it's your boy the Markham Knight here. Today's video is going to be about the Comic Con trailer for Young Justice Season 3. Uh, now I know it's been a very long time since I've posted, I am going to try and post more regularly. I do have a full time job, uh, still doing some grad school and everything, so there's a lot of things that are kind of in the works there. But uh, I am going to start trying to post more and more regularly. Uh, please do feel free to kind of come back and check out my channel a couple more times. I will be trying to post a minimum of once, maybe twice a week. Uh, don't quote me on the twice, but uh, once is definitely what I'm going to try and go for. I feel like that's a realistic goal for me. Uh, otherwise, I want to jump into this video and then we can start talking about it a little more afterwards. I do have a lot of thoughts about Young Justice, so I do want to kind of jump into this and then I can talk about that. Let's get started. I'm not happy about this. He knows we're trying to leave the life behind. Don't blame Nightwing. The decision was mine. Babe, you're freaking out over nothing. It's like a recap of season two, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Welcome back. Artemis! Aqualad has been on a deep cover mission for months, infiltrating Black Manta's troops, the Light, and the Reach. We faked Artemis' death. In fact, Artemis is Tigris. What was I thinking? Why this is the kind of TV show that I was missing. Together, leaving the whole hero thing behind so we could just be... With Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, Teen Titans TV show, Justice League TV show. You can have a kid's show and still have it be okay for adults so and teenagers. Kiss you now. Or maybe kill you for putting us through all this. Teen well, Titans Go is definitely you. not my cup of tea. Neither is like Marvel's uh, Avengers Assemble and stuff like that. Very, very childish. Which works, because it's kind of what they're going for and they're doing what they want to do, but this was actually really cool. Black Beetle. Not after we destroy it. This is a very cool concept. This is very long. I did see this in Comic Con, but I haven't seen it since, so it was a long time ago. We're definitely coming back here, babe. You know, when we don't have a world to save. There will always be a world to save. Now drop me and go. Omega Squad has. I'm reading a 21st MFD in the arc. Even at our top speed, I'm not certain the two of us can generate enough kinetic energy. Then how about the three of us? This reminded me of when Barry Allen did it. Uh... Just tell them, okay? Kid! Barry Allen kind of ran super fast and uh, became the lightning bolt, but he was lost in the speed force when they were taking down Anti Monitor in Crisis of Infinite Earth. Kind of all her fault, technically speaking. Just saying. I need a break, Kelder. You, me, Wally. We, we founded this team. Without him. I understand. This was cool. Dark side and Vandal Savage. Okay, so that's their recap. Uh, there's only like two minutes left for the actual thing, so let's kind of see what's going on here. Like I said, I did forget a lot of this. It's been a long time. Human trafficking is an international scourge. Children and teens are being abducted. The way our daughter was abducted. There's a meta-human trafficking syndicate in Markovia that we can shut down with your help. It's the VA. Okay, looks like we got started again. We go our separate ways. No muss, no fuss. Kind of like get the gang back together for one last mission. Prince Bion, you tested positive for the meta gene. Princess Tara would likely have tested positive as well. Which explains why she was taken. Something daring must be done if I am to save Markovia. Metagene activated. Let's see what we've got. Ah, Lobo. That's cool. 
I like that he's in this. Is that Ray Shall Rule? Static Shock. Very cool. Batman. I wonder how much of the Justice League is going to be involved in this. That was Black Lightning, I think. This who's who? Iron. Iron. Orion. <laughs> like Blue Thor. So it doesn't look like they went in the dark side Vandal Savage route. Ray Shall Rule. There you go, Matt. Hey, he's alive! Which is to be expected. Shazam and Flash. Oh, there you go. Vandal's in it too. Okay, so maybe they're kind of like the big things at the end. Think that's it? Yeah. Got like six seconds left. Yep, that's it. Okay. So, uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, I do like a lot of things that I saw in this. Uh, they teased Vandal Savage and Darkseid teaming up at the end of Season 2. Uh, season 3, we didn't really see Vandal until right about the end. Uh, so maybe he and Darkseid are kind of in on it and they've kind of got this whole thing in motion. Uh, with that being said, we do see Wally is going to come back. Uh, I'm going to see basically what happened to him. My guess is that he was probably somewhere in the Speed Force and uh, recovered some way. Kind of like Barry Allen was recovered the same way. But uh, I don't know how much of the Justice League we're going to see in this. I'm okay with not seeing too much of it. Like I said, that's going to make it a little bit of a kid's show to have the actual teens running the show. And at the same time, a good show for adults and stuff like that, like us, uh, who, who are also going to be watching it. Uh, the actual concept, we don't really know much that's going on. Uh, we know some stuff's going on in Markovia. They're getting together for another mission. Uh, we don't know how Wally gets back. We don't know why they got together and they decided to do this instead of the Justice League. Are they still going under the whole, uh, we're a little more discreet than the Justice League is because the Justice League is kind of these huge figureheads at this point. Uh, I didn't see Superman in there, Batman was in there for a little bit, Flash was in there for a little bit, so we don't know what kind of a part they're going to play in the story, and I'm okay with that. Uh, but I do want to see kind of the dynamics that develop from here. We did not see Miss Martian, which is interesting, because she is one of the founding characters, and she is kind of a big deal in the storyline. So I kind of want to see what happened with uh, Superboy and Miss Martian and that love triangle they had going with Beast Boy last time. Uh, so it, this is a long, long time coming and DC finally released something that uh, grown-ups can watch and not just Teen Titans Go. Uh, I was not too happy that that was the only thing to watch for the longest time. This is going to air only on the DC Universe uh, actual DC channel that they're opening up that you can pay for. It's kind of like a streaming service. Uh, so maybe I am going to go ahead and access that. Regardless, I am going to find a way to watch every single one of these episodes and kind of give you my thoughts on how I think this season went. I did see this in Comic-Con. I did not remember most of it. Uh, like I said, it was a long time ago. But uh, I will start to try posting more and more often uh, right here. So do come back. Uh, otherwise, tell me what you guys think. This is the Marvel Knight, and I need you to like, comment, and subscribe.